Okay guys, welcome to part 2 of my Let's Automate Twitter series. So in the last video I showed you how to basically log into Twitter and make a tweet without you actually doing it so doing it yourself. It just happens through code. And in this video I'm going to show you how to go to a web page, run a script using Puppeteer, grabbing some data or some information and then going to Twitter and uploading that information. This is called screen scraping. Now I, I will tell you that some like screen scraping and so forth is something that is it it's a little bit brittle like it's very useful if you want to grab information from some so, some some web page somewhere and you know make sure that you know it's it's okay to do so and so forth so it's a public site and you know you're not like stealing information from some private site that you're not allowed to steal things from and basically then the the thing is that this is it's it's very effective in for gathering information but you also have to remember that if something changes on the website you might ha see that your scripts break so you kind of have to maintain it usually the bi really big websites don't change that often but it, it does happen so let's go through grabbing some data from a web page so the web page we're going to look at is one of my favorite comic strips which is called commit strip so commit strip is a really 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 nice comic for us programmers which you know I, I absolutely love now the first thing we want to look at is this URL up here so we look at the URL structure first and foremost we see that okay so www.commitstrip.com that's en for English and then you have the today's the the date of the upload of the comic in the URL and then you have a name to the comic. Now this means that the name is going to be non-deterministic. In the in the past video in the last video we could actually look at Dilbert as which is another comic strip and know that the web page structure is that it's always going to be the day's date that is going to link to the comic itself. But now we have a name here as well, which means that we can't deter we can't ahead of time calculate what the next posted comic is going to be. We're going to have to go to the web page and grab it. So let's do that. Let's go through the script. So the first thing we're going to do is that we are going to grab Pupp Puppeteer and we're going to br bring in our login script from the previous video and then we have a few utility functions for getting the today's the today's date as an iso string and then we can convert this today's date into the year and to the month and to the day then we have the tweet function that is going to do the tweeting and then we have some data here i'll talk about that in just a moment and then we re we require the file system module from node so let's walk through this so the first thing we're going to do is that we are going to grab today's date, which is going to be something like this, the ISO standard, and then we check if that string is equal to data.lastUpload, then we're simply going to log out that we already posted this comic strip. And this is important. We didn't do this for Dilbert because Dilbert is a daily comic. There's a new comic coming up every single day which means that as long as our automated script only runs once a day we won't actually double post the same thing but this is different because commit strip is not a daily it's not a daily comic it comes out every other week or every week or something like that it's a little bit ha hazy I haven't really looked into it all that much but it's not that consistent so we need a way to no, tell our script that may be running every day to make sure that hey you know don't post the last you know if if we already have a l upload that is going to be the same like basically we're gonna have we don't want to upload the same comic twice so that's why we have this file here which is just a JSON file that has a single key and a value that is going to hold the last comic or rather the last date of the comic that we uploaded all right. So hopefully that makes sense to you. So we're just storing the last time we uploaded something and ma making sure that you know if we find something new, the uh, when we're get, get, you know grabbing the comic from uh, from commit strip, that we're not uploading the same comic twice. That's all that's happening. Okay, let's move on. So we instantiate our browser. We instantiate the page so that we can actually. We go to the web page and then here we have the UR, the base URL which is going to be commitstrip.com slash en. Then we go to the URL 
using the page object and then we wait and this is a special function so this basically means in Puppeteer that we want to evaluate this function by uh, this translate basically to document dot query all and gra it's grabbing all the links on the page and it's going to pass all of that information to this function here this is important this is running in the like whatever being passed into this function this dollar dollar sign annotation means that whatever happening in here is going to be run in the context of the browser so this code here think of, just think of it as two different things this is the code that is running in our node.js script this function is going to be run inside of Puppeteer on the web page it is visiting. That, and that's, that's a difference. So let's just look at it in just, a, in, in just a moment. So basically what we do is that we grab all the links and then we just log out how many links we found. And then we filter these links because we just want to keep the link because you know the, the web page has a lot of links and we just want to grab the link the links on the page that matches you know the comic link structure because we already know that this is the link structure that the comic is going to have so we're going to go going to see if we can find links that only matches that pattern and then we log out how many links we found and ideally we should just find one because we're looking for a single link to the most recent comic and then we just check if we have exactly if we find one or more links that matches to like the com the the link pattern then we'll we're simply going to do what we did in the last video we're going to log in and we're going to post that link to the uh, to to twitter and then finally we're going to we're going to run a function called save complete upload date which is basically going to take today and store it to the file that we were looking at earlier so let's just walk through each each function here so what were we we're, what, what was it what we, we were going to do we were going to grab all the links so let's start by parsing all the links so this is a simple simple thing the eval function is going to grab all of the links on the page as and it's going to give us a, an array of these links or link elements so all, all we are going to do is that we are going to map over all the links and grab the href which is going to con give us the url to all the links on the page so in this fun in this constant here we have now all the urls to all the links or rather all the link urls sorry and then finally after that we're just going to filter and let's look at the filtering so the filtering is going to work like this it's going to grab today's date and then we have another function called get comic url so it's going to convert today's date to the template url that we were looking at earlier and then we're going to do a regex matching on or rather create a regex from that template URL and then we're going to check each of the URLs that we find on the page against this template that we made and that's going to leave us with is basically only the links that matches our template and let's look at the template so in our get comic URL that is going to convert today's date to the template URL we grab the year we grab the month and then we grab the day and I've only and basically this is what's going to happen we are going to use the commit strip URL and as we saw earlier the format of the link structure is year month and then the day and then finally it's going to be the name but since we don't know the name and the beauty of this is that they don't you should they most likely not going to post more than one comic per day we can actually just make do with this if we match against this part of the URL even if we don't have this last part it doesn't matter because the, even though this is completely unpredictable to us we don't know what the name is going to be we have everything else and since this gives us a perfectly unique URL as it is we don't need to know the name because it's going to match perfectly anyway now I've only hard coded the day because like as when I'm making this video the day is you know it's not the 8th it's the 10th and they don't have a comic strip uploaded so it's not you know my script is going to fail because there no there's no comic basically and that yeah that that's basically how it's going to work so now that we have filtered out the links and we expect there to be a single link 
and you know we did the login and then we tweeted finally we're gonna save today's upload date so what we're gonna do is that we're gonna create an object called with the property last upload set today's date to that value stringify it and write it to that file we were looking at oh sorry basically write it into here so let's run this now and just see how it all work comes together very nicely so we're gonna start our script going to commit strip and it found 132 links and it found one link from today it's opening Twitter going into the uh, typing in the login information trying to tweet and it inputs this as we can see here this is exactly what we want trying to typing in text commit strip yada 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 stack overflow patchwork which is exactly what we expect and then we look let's look at the at the screen dumps so we see that we went to Twitter correctly we hit the home page and finally we uploaded a tweet successfully and if we now go to the web to to Twitter we refresh our page Ta -da! there we are and now I can click this and here I am I now have a automated way to upload basically my you know one of my favorite comics to my own Twitter feed whenever there's a new comic as long as this script is running say on a daily basis or a weekly basis or you know how often I want it to run I'm going to get the uh, it's going to go to the web page and check is there a new comic there and if it if there is it's going to grab it and upload it to Twitter now as we saw I, we saw earlier the the danger here is that because we can't trust that this comic is going to be a that there's going to be a new comic every time we need a way to remember which was the the last time we uploaded something successfully and that should have happened now so if we look at this JSON file, yes, exactly what we're expecting. So we set the last upload date, which means that the next time we try, we we run the script, we do this, and we can see that oh, it has already done an upload today. So it's not going to try and upload it again, basically because it's already attempted to do it today. And that's basically it. Hopefully you found this useful and in the next video we are going to talk about liking other people's tweets and how to create a dis decision system for liking and retweeting and stuff of that nature. I hope you have a great day.